सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन हीट ट्रांसफर थ्रू स्फीयर विथ इंटरनल हीट जनरेशन वी वील रीड द गिवन क्वेश्चन इन ऑरेंजेस द एनर्जी रिलीज इज एस्टिमेटेड एज फाइव सिक्सटी थ्री वैट पर मीटर क्यूब टू राइट If the orange assumed to be a homogeneous sphere and has a thermal conductivity of 0.15 watt per meter kelvin, compute the temperature at center of orange and the heat flow from outer surface. Assume a diameter of 8 cm and external surface temperature of 2 degrees Celsius. Let us understand given data with the help of diagram. This is the case of sphere. So radius at the center is zero, and we have to find out what is the temperature at the center. So we will say radius R C is equal to zero and temperature T C that we have to find out. Now radius for this whole sphere is given that is four centimeter. So diameter is given, so we can calculate here radius. So for this outer surface we will use R O is equal to four centimeter and temperature is also given T O is equal to two degree Celsius. Now this is the case of internal heat generation. So we will write Q G is equal to five sixty three watt per meter cube. And the conductivity for the orange. So this sphere is nothing but the orange, and conductivity of material is zero point fifteen watt per meter cube. Now we have to solve this question by using the Poisson's equation, and we will first develop the temperature distribution equation to solve this problem. So what is the Poisson's equation for sphere? So one by r square d by d r r square d t by d r is equal to minus two g by k. Now we will simplify this. We will transfer this R square to the right hand side. So again, d by d R R square d t by d R is equal to minus two g by k into R square. Now we will integrate on both the sides with respect to R. So here our uh, integration sign and this differentiation will be getting cancelled. So on the left hand side we have to write this term R square d t by d R is equal to. Now we have minus q g by k as it is, and what about r square? So integration of r square is r cube by three and constant of, of integration plus c one. Now we will again simplify this. We will transfer this r square to the right hand side. So there are two terms. So for the first term, if in the denominator is r square, then it's r cube and r square. r square is getting cancelled. So minus q g by k r by three plus C1 by R square is there. Now we will again integrate with respect to R. So on both sides we have to give the integration. So this is the equation in terms of dt by dr. So we will give here the equation number one. Now if we again integrate on both the sides, then integration and this differentiation d by dr will be getting cancelled. So here t is equal to Minus two g by k as it is, and here r d r that integration of r d r that is r square by two, but here three is there, so three multiplied by two that is six plus c one. Now here in denominator r square is there, so one upon r square that is minus one by r. So we have to take minus one by r and plus second constant of integration that is c two. So this is the equation in terms of t. So I will give here as equation number two. So, how to find out temperature distribution equation? Here, there are two unknown terms, that is C1 and C2. We have to first find out these values of C1 and C2 by applying boundary conditions. So, what is the boundary condition? So, if we observe the given data for boundary condition, so I will write here for boundary conditions, we have to take the first condition. R is equal to zero because at the center R is equal to zero. So at R is equal to zero. So if we put R is equal to zero, then this whole term d t by d R will become zero. So at the radius, that is uh, dif uh, differentiation with respect to R, that is differentiation with respect to zero. So this d t by d R will become zero. d t by d r is equal to zero so when we put all the values so instead of r and dt by dr zero then what is the value of c1 so c1 is also equal to zero therefore c1 is equal to zero 
Now this is the first boundary condition. Now we will apply the second boundary condition. So what is the second boundary condition? So at R is equal to R O. That is at R is equal to 4 cm. T is equal to 2 degree Celsius. And we have to take the previous value C1 is equal to 0. So this boundary condition we have to put in equation number 2. So we will put the values. So here T that is 2 degree Celsius is equal to minus QG by K. So minus 563 by 0 0.50 R square by 6. So R is here 4 centimeters. So 4 centimeters that is 0 0.04 meters. So we have to take R square by 6 plus C1 is equal to 0. So this whole term will become 0 and plus C2 is there. Now we have to calculate this C2. Then with the help of calculator if we solve this then we will first take this uh, 0 .0, 0 0.04 square divided by 6 multiplied by 563 divided by 0 0.50 so it is 1.0008 uh, so we will take 1 uh, or uh, this, this is having minus sign so if I transfer this minus or this whole term to the left hand side then it will become plus so we have to take plus 2 so it will become 3.0008 so we will write here the value of C2 that is 3.0008. So now the unknown values that are C1 and C2. So C1 is equal to 0 and C2 is equal to 3. So approximately we will take 3. So we have to put the values of C1 and C2 in this equation number 2. And then we will get the temperature distribution equation. Temperature distribution equation T is equal to minus QG by 6K into R square plus 3. Now we will solve the first question. Temperature at the center of orange. So temperature at the center of orange is Tc. So when T is equal to Tc then R is equal to Rc and which is equal to 0. So we have to put here R is equal to 0 and T is equal to Tc. So when we put all the values, so this whole term will become 0 and temperature at the center which is equal to 3 degree Celsius. Now second question is that heat flow from the outer surface of orange. So here outer surface of orange is this. So this is the case of sphere. So what is the area of sphere? So area of sphere is 4 pi R square. So what is the formula to calculate the heat flow from the outer surface? So this whole area of sphere is limited with from center Rc is equal to 0 to outer radius Ro is equal to 4 cm. So we have to give these limits and we have to take the area that is 4 pi R square. And there is the internal heat generation Qg. So we have to take the integration with respect to R with for this whole area of this sphere and the limits are Rc is equal to 0 to Ro is equal to 4 cm and we have to multiply with this internal heat generation that is Qg is equal to 563 watt per meter cube. So Q is equal to integration of Rc to Ro Qg 4 pi R square dr. Now this Qg and 4 pi constant so we have to take outside the bracket so what is the integration for this r square that is r cube by 3 and we have to take the limit from rc to ro that is from 0 to 4 centimeters so here this term is 0 so this whole term will become 0 and here is ro so instead of ro we can put here 4 centimeter that is 0 0.04 meter so again we will write qg 4 pi instead of r we will put r o cube by 3. Now when we put this 0 so minus qg into 4 pi here 0 cube by 3 so this whole term will become 0 so we will refer here only first term. So now qg is 563 then 4 pi as it is then r o is 0 0.04 bracket cube by 3. So when we solve this, we will get the answer 0 0.1509 watt and this is the answer of second question.